Okay, so this next poem I'm going to do is, uh, it's called The Pantoom for a Brother. Um, I wrote this for my younger brother, Chris, and I wrote this basically as more of a, an apology. Because when we were younger, I was a very shitty brother. Um, my brother Chris, he's my half-brother, and we live with my mom and my stepdad. And while we were growing up, in a way, he was, he was treated a little bit differently than me and my sister were. I just kind of viewed it as he got a lot more attention, um, he was just given different things and treated in a different way than myself was, or even my sister. And I just, I hated, in a way I hated him for it. I was jealous, and I felt like he was taking a lot from me, which really wasn't true. You know, these things weren't really his fault. It was, just, I don't even know how to explain it, but I shouldn't have acted the way that I did. I tried a lot to push him away. I didn't want him around, but now I realized after... You know, so many years, because I wrote, I wrote this poem like about a year or so ago, and it was actually just recently published in my school's like college arts journal, The Bridge. And I wrote this just because I want to be more supportive. I want to be a better brother. And so far, we're a, lot, we're a lot cooler now. We're a lot closer, and it's really great, and I'm very happy about that. But uh, this poem is called Pantoom for a Brother, for Chris. I met the love of my life. On the bank of a cranberry bog, not yet in bloom, and I told him, I'm sorry. On the bank of a cranberry bog, I remembered I once called him Cain, and I told him, I'm sorry, for the many years when I was blind. I remembered I once called him Cain, and feared that he would take my life. For the many years when I was blind, I never saw the words in his eyes, do you love me? In fear that he would take my life, I shunned him, and I hoped he'd get the point, and I never saw the words in his eyes, do you love me? But I see them now, and I so much do. I shunned him and hoped he'd get the point, and I hope this apology will do. I just did not see things clearly, but I see them now, and I so much do treasure this moment in which I found him. And I hope this apology will do. I just did not see things clearly. I was just a young boy who had trouble sharing, but now I treasure this moment in which I found him and this fraternal connection now keeping me high. I was just a young boy who had trouble sharing, but now I want nothing more to see him grow old with me and this fraternal connection now keeping me high when I might trip throughout future days. Want nothing more than to see him grow old with me, a piece of time still to come where I might trip throughout future days because there is so much I must learn since that day. A piece of time still to come, not yet in bloom, because there is so much I must learn since that day I met the love of my life. Thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I don't know. I think I might do some more videos next week. So check on them. All right. Take it easy.